do a few things. I took notes on your sets. Dude, let me know, dude. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Glendy. Yo, let me know right now. So basically, okay. What I'm trying to do during these sets is just look. Look at what what went wrong and what went right. So one of the things that I really tried to focus on is catching Mango's rolls. I noticed he didn't like didn't like to trade or crouch cancel that much and would opt for roll often. Um, I did like so when I did shield Here's pressure. five big ones oh. for the godlike performance from yesterday. Sub analysis after. Yo, thanks. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you for the five dollars. Um maybe we'll do some sub analysis tomorrow. I kinda wanna do some pro analysis and then play some CS afterwards. But we'll see. We'll see. Um so when I did shield pressure, we did a few attacks and then wave dash back and waited for the roll. And if he didn't roll, then I was in a good position, right? <coughs> What's up, Finn? Um, now this was a rough stage. Like, Leffen kind of made the stage look easy for Mango, but I think I needed to take just a, a game to, like, confirm a, my thoughts about Mango's Falco. Could have, could have gotten a little bit more right there, but I was a little antsy. Could have like just tech chased right here. It was a little antsy. Uh, a little unfortunate. This is just first stock, right? Why am I going blue fox? Um, I just just feel like. Golden Blue Fox? I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of tired of living in Mango's shadow with the Orange Fox. And in Adam's shadow, for that matter. So, I figured I needed to switch it up a little bit. So I was just playing a lot of Blue Fox and was kind of digging it the whole weekend, so. <laughs> Ooh. Not good, not good. <coughs> I think so going for grab right here right is just not not good and I I definitely realized it after I went for it I was like okay like remember not to go for grabs especially at zero cuz look this is all cuz of that one grab right <laughs> oh not this part but this right here like I miss my grab and he hits me and then, and then I try to like switch it up and do down airs, but it was just it was just not the right tempo. Like those are just really bad spaced down airs. Yeah. Okay. Good stuff, Mango. And then Mango tried to like be a little bit fancy right here. Or it's coming up right here, right here. Oh, okay, not yet, not yet. This motherfucker, this motherfucker. I thought it was cute. I thought it was cute. So, basically, what that game told me was, don't. It reminded me not to grab versus Mango. And. Basically, I just needed to keep my, uh, I needed to just, like, get him at the right angles, right? I needed to approach at the weird angles, like the diagonal angles, where it's hard for Falco to kind of deal with stuff. 
And I didn't do that that much that game. So he goes Marth, and you know, if you look at my face right here, I'm just like, just like, ugh, like this motherfucker. But uh, I was like, all right. I like I kept repeating to myself, you know, no ego, we go. <laughs> and I just took it one one stock at a time, right? Like one hit at a time. I try not to get hype, super hype over myself. Like even right there, I was just like, you know, no ego, we go. And it helped. It helped remind me, like, we take those hype, no, hype, no. Thank you for the 13 months, dude. <laughs> Guess you're not a total scrub now, dude. Thanks, man. It means a lot to me. <coughs> um, yeah. Even even after all this, right? Just kept reminding myself, no ego, we go. No ego, we go. Oh. I need to I need to work on my four B's right here. I need to just be able to four B like immediately. Cause the up B I'm almost always dead after the up B. Mango's Marth was like not s super on point, but I think what also helped me was like my little pauses. So like right here, like right there, right there. I just kind of like waited for him to swing, right? Like wasn't really, didn't move into his zone and stayed still. Let him try to come into my zone. Nah, nah, get out of here. Boom. Can't believe he fell for that one. That's fucking filthy. Oscar would be proud. But yeah, WRM. I don't know if you heard me when my computer was freezing. Thank you for the sub, my man. Appreciate it, dude. Appreciate it. Dude, right on, man. I'll be there next year if there is a next CCC. So then he goes. He goes Falco, right? My main objective here was one, not to grab, do lots of like running shines, and I really just wanted to put him in the air with these up smashes. I wasn't trying to like get a ton of damage off of like chain grabs or anything because I just wanted like the immediate damage. So I wanted I wanted to take that early lead off of Mango. Because as soon as I could take the early lead, then I could start to dictate the pace. And again, like, so so I put him in the corner, right? And I'm really looking forward for, I'm looking for the roll, right? Not only am I looking for the roll here, but I'm, I'm looking for the option he chooses when he's in the corner. Um, also, something that I tried to focus on was not chasing Falco when he... When he double jumped or jumped, like full hopped, because Mango likes to come down reactionary off his full hops. Hold <coughs> um, out of Mango shield pressure more often. Yeah, see, so like right there, like, 
It's exactly, exactly the same setup as the last time I put in the corner, right? Except this time he ended up rolling. He rolled again right there. Put him in there, boom. And then caught it. Like I was just, I was ready, I was looking for the roll. It hurts. Am I going to dump park on the grass? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to dark, dump park on the grass. Ooh. Mango did a pretty bad downer on my shield, which is rare for Mango. <coughs> See, he was, he was waiting for my roll there. He's waiting for me to roll, but I was like, nah, I'm going to the platform. Peace. I just played really conscious. Like, actually, it wasn't it wasn't conscious though. It was like I was playing. I was actually playing like subconscious most of this set because I was able to like subdue my ego. I was able to subdue that subdue that voice in my head that got excited off of cool kills or got excited off of being ahead or and and that same voice is the voice that you know tells me I did something wrong if I do something wrong um, you know if you guys have read the inner game of tennis um, the author it's what the author talks about as self one self one is the the self that is constantly criticizing and um, like judging you for your actions but self two is the one that that knows how to do all the actions and it doesn't really it doesn't ha it doesn't carry judgment you know it, it just does what it does and I think that's that's kind of what I achieved with this tournament was unlocking that self two That was filthy. That was like a low low key KJH shine out of shield. Uh, not quite a KJH shine out of shield because I didn't. It wasn't fully perfect, but it was almost perfect. Almost perfect. We'll take it though. We'll take it. Ooh. I tried to do a lot of hard up smashes, like somewhat randomly. They weren't fully random, but whenever I thought Mango was going to move forward, then I would try to trade with an up smash. And it, it worked sometimes, and other times I got punished for it. Power shields, standard power shields. Mm. Okay. <coughs> oh. Uh, it was a little too early on that forward smash. I thought he was just gonna do like an instant forward, uh, forward B, but maybe he even reacted. I don't know. Oh. So like whenever, whenever something like this would happen, right? This is when I would, this is when I would remind myself like, no ego, ego, 
Cause I'd be like, damn, like I'm kind of like going off right now. Like when I did this, when I did this whole combo, I'm not gonna lie, I was like, I was like, goddamn, like that was kind of sweet. But I had to remind myself, no ego, we go. I had to subdue that, you know, that excitement because. You know, as soon as I like thought about it, like that's what happened. Like that little air dodge right there. And I was like, alright, like, come on. No you go, we go. See, how did, I remember we went down a last dog. Yeah, see, so I would roll. I thought about shining out a shield right here, but I was like, no, just roll, just roll. I had, like, pretty good smash down on this drill, too, so I didn't get on this down air, so I didn't get shined immediately. Mm. This is just a. Uh, this is like so because of the percents we're at right here. Like we we both don't want to trade. We're both just trying to get like each other up to forty percent so we can't crash cancel anymore, and then we can start being a little bit more aggressive and then look for the knockdowns. So right here, like I'm just looking for like a quick hit or a quick knockdown, anything that'll put him on the ground. <coughs> <coughs> Unfortunately, that Sovnair wasn't going to cut it. And he punished me. He punished me because I went for the bear again. He just, like, grabbed me. But then he went for the hard read, too. I don't Actually, I don't know if he meant to do that down, down smash. Probably not. <laughs> Oh, close. Okay. Now, I'm not going to lie. My ego is kind of coming into play on this last lock because I was like, oh, shit, like, it would be sweet to win right now. But, you know, I had, like, a solid enough lead that as long as I didn't get hit by him, I was pretty confident I was going to win.